Aloha, welcome in. David Tatera here. Today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to buy any of the altcoins, uh, Safe Moon, Safe Mars, Spore Financial, Happy Coin, uh, what else? PXL. There's so many different altcoins and tokens out there. Uh, any of those you want to buy on PancakeSwap, I'm going to show you both how to buy and how to sell, how to set them up in your wallet so that you can see the, the balances on them, everything, all right? So uh, click that thumb down below, smash that subscribe button, join me for these great videos, and I'm gonna dive right in and show you everything about how to set this up. All right, quick word of warning before we begin, just to let you know, I am not a financial planner and I am not a financial advisor. Uh, everything you say today and anything I share with you is just for entertainment, it is not financial advice. Please seek a professional when deciding where to put your money. Uh, I am not that professional. Thank you. All right, so BSC Scan here is the Binance Smart Chain Explorer. Uh, basically what this is gonna do is give you an overview of everything being built on the Binance Smart Chain. Most of these tokens are, and if you're buying them through your Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap, um, you're probably already buying in BNB. So it's good to be familiar with that. Um, so today what we're going to use for our example is uh, this week's little darling. Um, it was um, Spore Financial. Spore Financial. So that one shot up and I saw it all over Facebook. And so I decided I'd buy a, a little bit of it just to show everyone how we buy Spore Financial. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so we type Spore Financial right up here into the search bar. And as you can see, as soon as we pretty much begin typing it, it's going to pull up that list down below of tokens, the BEP20 tokens. Scroll down there, boom, there's Spore Finance. Uh, so that's the token we were looking for. So we're going to click on that one. And that'll pull up this page. Um, and this has basically got all of the um, overview of all the information regarding the um, token. And the thing that we're looking for is the contract address. We need the token's contract address to be able to purchase this token. So right there, we click the copy little icon and you're gonna get that copied contract address. Now it's time to head over into your trust wallet. All right, so um, we're doing all this with Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. So once you've headed over into your Trust Wallet, um, this is mine. You can see it's got all my different tokens and everything that I have in there. Um, we're going to head on into that little D apps there. Now, my phone is an Android, um, but if you happen to have an iPhone, it's going to look very similar. It's just going to say browser instead of D apps. Um, it's just a little discrepancy between iPhone and Android. Um, now on the off chance that you cannot see browser on your iPhone, or really if you run into any problems along the way, um, there's a couple different errors that you can run into that are very common and I have put a video explaining to you how to fix and solve all of these. So uh, up in the top corner right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to it. If you aren't able to follow along and get to these steps even for some reason, jump back, follow this video. This one, that one's gonna go back to the basic 101s, all right? But once you have found it and you've gotten successfully to, the, to this point in your trust wallet and you have that browser or dApps button, click on it and it's going to take you into our um, Web 3.0 blockchain browser. Now, once you're over into the um, dApps browser, you're going to want to scroll down until you find that guy, PancakeSwap, because that's where we're going to do our purchase today. This is going to load the site, PancakeSwap.finance for us. And once it gets all loaded, we're gonna scroll down and we are gonna select a currency. But this time, instead of entering a name of a currency, we're gonna paste in that contract address we copied earlier. And look, boom, Spore found by address. Now click Add. Suddenly, it's become one of our tokens in PancakeSwap that we can both buy and sell. So to select it as a token, we simply type it into the list here and it's gonna pull up down below um, a variety of different tokens. And you can see Spore is one of the ones listed there. Simply click on it down below and now you have it as an option for buying and selling um, from your Binance. Suddenly you have the option to buy and sell it. So for this example, I'm just gonna buy a small quantity. I think I put in um, 0.05 
uh, Binance and realized that was about 25 bucks. That was really more than I actually wanted to buy. Um, I don't know anything about this token, so I just decided to throw in 0.01, which is about $5 worth, um, something around $5 worth of it. So scroll on down and click on the swap button there. And that's going to pull up the information about um, the swap that you're that you're trying to make. All right, and then that's going to pull up your confirm screen. This is going to show you all the information you need about the transaction, how much BNB you're giving, how much spore you're getting, um, the price impact, liquidity, everything like that, um, so that you know what kind of transaction you're getting. So just scroll down, click on that confirm swap button, and bingo! Oh wait, we had an error. And this is actually one of the most common errors you'll find when you're buying these altcoins. Um, basically, we haven't changed our slippage tolerance. So these coins fluctuate so wildly up and down that um, a couple percent, five percent, ten percent, even twenty percent sometimes can change in a matter of minutes. Uh, so it's very hard to buy when you're normally buying a, a stable coin, a more stable coin like, you know, Ethereum or Bitcoin, it doesn't change dramatically in value from second to second. So one and a half, two percent um, slippage tolerance is fine, but we're going to have to shift it to be able to use it with these altcoins. All right. So to do that, we're going to head on out and scroll up to that little line and arrow thing and that pulls up our slippage tolerance menu you can see it's got options of one and half and two, you know 1.1 but we want to go all the way up to 12 we're going to manually type in 12 because we need to have a pretty high slippage tolerance for a token with so little sales as um spore finance so now that we've got our slippage tolerance all set um, we can close out of this settings screen and go down and try to do the swap again. So same settings, 0 0.01. We're gonna click on the swap. It's gonna pull up this screen again. We click the confirm swap. And this time, hopefully waiting for, it's coming up with a confirm transaction screen. So this is the confirm transaction screen. And it's the last step before we actually get our um, our tokens purchased. So it's going to pull up a little menu there that shows us the, the network fee, meaning how much they're going to charge us to handle this transaction, and then the maximum total that we're going to end up potentially spending, um, how much of our BNB plus our um, network fee. So once you're happy with that, the last step is to click down there on the Approve button. All right, so click Approve, and you get a confirmation screen right there. When you see that transaction submitted, you know you actually got a transaction. All right, so we can close out of that one, and we're actually gonna click the X in the top corner, and we're gonna click back on our wallet. So we're back into our wallet. Now, the next step that we need to take inside of our wallet will be to add Spore Finance as another token in that wallet so that we can see the balance, so we can see what we're holding on to. So click on that little circle up in the top right hand corner, and that's going to pull up your search tokens menu. And once again, we've got that um, save token address, and that's gonna come in handy here. Just paste that in, and boom, it pulls up your list. You click the little uh, slider icon, and now Spore Finance has been added as a token in our wallet. So we're gonna scoot back out, click that back arrow, and get back until we're in the uh, main wallet screen. And here you're going to see the list of tokens, but one has been added. We're going to scroll down and you see Spore Finance has now been added. That is our balance, uh, the value, what's happened in the last day. You can pull it up like any other token. It's now listed in your account um, and you can, you know, you can keep an eye on it as the day goes on. One last important step that we need to make sure we learn how to do, though, is to sell the token bring this up because the first time that I bought an alt token, um, I used a, an external link that brought me into um, the, the pancake swap with that token already loaded. It seemed great and I was successful and I bought it. But when I realized suddenly I wanted to sell it, I had to go find that link again. Um, so that's why we've gone and added it manually into pancake swap the way we did as one of your tokens. And now I'm going to show you how to go back and sell it. Okay, so head back to the uh, wallet itself, the main one, and then you're going to head over to your um, dApps browser or your browser and scroll back down and find PancakeSwap again. Pretty simple. Load the PancakeSwap.finance application. Um, and this time, we're going to 
switch around what we're going to be selling and buying. So select what you're going from, and now when you open that list up again, you're gonna have that newly added token that you put on there. So type into the search bar for your um, Spore Finance, select it when it pops up, boom, and I'm going to sell the maximum, the, all, everything I have, say, today. So you can click max if you wanna do that. It's gonna put all your tokens in. You select what currency you're going into, and now it's showing you an estimation of how much BNB I'll get back, 0 0.00895 BNB. So uh, minus another little fee on the other end, you could basically see that I would have gone from 0 0.01 to 0 0.009 um, and lost a little bit of it throughout the transaction if I, if I was to just go back and forth like that because of the fees. But um, but anyway, um, so I hope this was helpful. hope this made it a lot easier for you to both find, um, buy, go through the process of adding them to your wallets, know how to sell them now. Um, please, please click that like button down at the bottom. Smash that big red subscribe button. Um, it'll really help me out and get, get these videos shown to a lot more people. And if the more people that see them, the more of them I'm going to make. So there's lots I can do. Um, feel free to comment in there if there's a specific problem you're having in your trust wallet. Um, if you're having a specific problem with um, PancakeSwap, put it in the comments. I'll be glad to try to put together another video on it. All right. Thank you again. Much aloha.